in today's tutorial video we'll be creating a discord music bot that will be able to play music from youtube and will also be able to pause resume and stop the bot entirely hello everybody welcome back to another video before we start i need to note that this bot will be created in python and we'll be using visual studio code as our code editor also please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel also follow me on other social medias if you want to receive updates on the projects i'm currently working on all right so i already have python and the discord bot login process set up here if you don't have your discord bot logged in and set up yet you can watch a really quick tutorial by clicking the link at the top right of the screen or in the description of this video after you have that set up we'll need to download something called ffmpeg first because discord uses ffmpeg to stream audio so in chrome or any other web browser we need to go to this website which i'll link in the description then you need to click download and then scroll down here and choose the operating system you're using so since i'm on windows i'll hover over windows and click the first option here this will take us to another website where we need to scroll down just a tiny bit and then click this ffmpeg full one here it's the second one from the top just click it and it should start downloading after it's done downloading i'll drag it to my desktop this is just to make things a bit easier when we extract this folder and we then open it afterwards let's just open it again and then in here open the bin folder you'll see this bin folder contains ffmpeg.exe this is what our bot will use to stream audio so in order to use it you have two options you can either copy the path to this bin folder containing the exe and then paste it into the program or you can add it to your environment variables inside path so i'll be choosing to add it to our environment variables and so the folder containing the bin folder we can rename it to ffmpeg and then drag it to our desktop outside of the original folder once it's here open your file explorer go to local disk c under this pc and then drag the ffmpeg folder inside of here this step isn't actually essential but then you'd need to go and insert a really long path inside of the environment variables and this just makes it so much easier for us after this you need to go into your search bar and type in environment variables but after e and v it should pop up just click this one here after that's opened we need to click on environment variables down here and you should see that system variables is the bottom section so just search for the one called path click on it and click edit you then need to click on new here and you would then need to insert the path to your ffmpeg.exe file so in my case it would be in my c drive and then inside of ffmpeg and then inside of bin then click ok ok and then ok again back in our code we're going to need to import some things so the first one is os and then also import a sync io we're also going to need youtube dl but we haven't installed this one yet so in a command prompt or terminal in my case i'll just click this at the bottom left and go to terminal type pip install youtube dl this library will handle the streaming of youtube audio for us back in our code we can create a variable up here that will be storing a dictionary and it will be called voice clients i'll explain why we need this later on but for now we're also going to need to specify the options we want for our youtube audio so type ytdl opts for options and then create an empty dictionary there are many recognized keys that we can use here as options i'll leave a link in the description to all of them but for now i'll I'll just pass one option and it's to get the best audio for our youtube stream under this we need to create a variable called ytdl and just store an instance of youtube dl inside of it this dl object will take our ytdl options as an argument so just pass it in here we then need to also specify some ffmpeg options i'll leave a link again to all of the other available options but for now i just want to use this one option where you pass a dash followed by vn and as far as i'm concerned this will exclude the video aspect of our youtube video Video in our stream so that we only have the audio included in our on message event we can then check if a user sends a message that starts with question mark play and this will be the command people will use to play music but it's important that the user also enters a space followed by the url of the video they want to play the audio from if they don't do that then don't worry we'll make our program take it into account by typing try and then under we type accept exception as er and then underneath the exception we can just print the error into the console this whole piece of code will Cause the bot to still run after an error occurred. Inside of the try block, we type URL equals msg.content.split and then we choose the second element by typing one this will retrieve the url in the play message and stored in this variable we then need to create a voice client instance which will be returned by this msg.author.voice.channel.connect function the voice client will handle the voice connection the bot has to a certain channel underneath this we need to store our voice client in our voice clients dictionary that we created earlier we'll be storing it with the key being the server id because each server can only have one of this bot that we're currently creating 
creating. The entire reason we're storing it in the first place is because we're going to need it later where we create the pause and resume functions. Because for example, let's say you have a bot across multiple servers. This would mean that if we try and pause it, it might pause for all of your bot instances across all of the servers that it's on. But by doing it like this, we now have access to this specific bot that we want to pause or resume in the server that the pause or resume command was sent in. We then need to create an async IO loop and type async IO dot get event loop. This is in a way similar to a thread, but really just means that the function we'll be passing into it will run independently from the rest of the program. So underneath that here, we can type data equals await loop dot run in executor. Then we pass none as the first argument to use the default executor. Then we pass a lambda function where we'll return the value of ytdl dot extract info. And then in here, pass the URL and then download equals false. The reason we're doing this is to get the data from the URL that was in the discord message. We also won't be downloading the actual full audio file from YouTube onto our computer, but we'll be storing the data to that specific song in this data variable. We can then create a variable to reference the song and get the data for that song using the URL keyword. We'll then need to create a player by typing discord.ffmpeg pcm audio, where we'll pass song and then double asterisk ffmpeg options. The double asterisk is so we allow all keyword arguments from our ffmpeg options. There is an optional parameter here called executable. And remember earlier when I said you can choose to add ffmpeg to your path or you can add the path to the exe in your program? This is where you would do that. So in here, type executable equals and then as a string, the path to your ffmpeg.exe. But since I added mine to the environment variables path, I'll be deleting this argument. Under this, we can then finally type voice client.play and pass player to play the requested song. When we now run the bot and go into Discord, I'll just join a voice channel here real quick and I'll type question mark play followed by the link to the song on YouTube. You can see that after pressing enter, the bot joins and starts playing the music we requested, which is nice. But we still need to add the pause, resume and stop features, which is actually fairly easy. So back in our code inside of the on message event, once again, we search for another type of message by typing if msg.content.starts with and then question mark pause. We'll then create another try and accept block. So try and then under it, accept exception as you are. And then we can just print the error. In the try block, we need to type voice clients msg.guild.id.pause. This will pause the bot that was playing music in the server where the message was sent in the first place. Now, the other commands are almost exactly the same, so we can copy this entire block of code and paste it twice. For this first one, we can change the command to resume, and we can change this pause function to resume as well. For this second one, however, we can change this to stop and then this to stop as well. But it would be better to also disconnect the bot, otherwise we'll get an error if we try to play another song. And this just acts as a quick fix to that problem. So to disconnect the bot, we type await voice clients msg.guild.id.disconnect. Hi guys, uh, while I was editing this video, I noticed a potential error that might occur. So after some audio has been played with the bot, once you try to play audio again, the bot doesn't work and gets an error. So to make sure that doesn't happen, here in our, here in our on message event, underneath the play command, we need to just paste, just type this. It's another try and accept block, but this one creates the voice client only if we don't have one already. Meaning that we can actually go ahead and delete this here. Those two lines of code right there. But now we don't have anything in our code called voice client. And so I'm just going to go and copy this. We need a reference to the current voice client. So this is dot play player. So voice client is now represented by this. So now we to now we type play and then player. I've tested this. This works. Really sorry for that mistake. Please let me know if you find any others. If we now run our bot, we can request to play a song. And once the bot joins, we can type question mark stop to stop the music and make the bot disconnect. We can then just let the bot join again. And after it's joined, I'll pause it. And after a short while, we can type question mark resume to resume the audio playing. And we can see that everything works. With all that said, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.